guys it has been a very long morning seemed like um i had three um nurses come in and they took my vitals and all of that they took baby boy's vitals he is right over here this little boy is something else y'all i have cracked nipples y'all my breasts are hurting so bad they're so heavy and everything um i've been using um lanolin i'll show you guys let me see. show you guys right now this is the stuff i've been using and this stuff right here is holy grail okay right here you guys can see that Okay. Okay. Well, anyway, so just rub my apple juice or whatever. They are taking really good care of me, guys. But yeah, so that stuff is like holy grail. If your nipple, if you're breastfeeding and your nipples are cracked, get you some lanolin, um, because baby can still breastfeed if you have it on your nipples or not. But yeah, so I'm waiting on my breakfast. Izzy has already left and went to work. That's why he was not here. Um, I'm just waiting on baby boy to wake up so I can feed him and check him to see if he um, had peed or pooped or whatever because I have to document that for them and everything. He did his um, car seat test last night. I will have a clip in that for you guys right after this clip. I don't know why it's beeping, but we'll bring this one for a sunny, clear. And yeah, so it's, we might be going home today, guys. I'm not for sure. Um, I don't know if I told you guys in the last um, vlog, signal. but I have passed gas, so I am eating my regular diet. So I'm super happy now I'm able to eat. Baby boy had lost a little weight from when I was on that clear water diet and they wasn't really giving me anything to eat. He'd lost a lot of weight. But then last night he gained it back <laughs> since I was eating. So I'm like super happy that he gained his weight back. And like I said, I think it had a lot to do with the fact that they had gave me that water diet because he, um, yeah, he had dropped significantly, and now he's back up, so that's good. Um, I'm trying to think. My blood pressure has been down, guys. For, like, the last two days, my blood pressure has been down. So, I'm not understanding what's going on or, you know, why my blood pressure is low. But I'll ask them what's going on about that. But other than that, I'm pretty fine as far as um, pain goes. My stomach only hurts if I sit down too long or if I lay down too long. It'll be hard for me to get back up. But other than that, I'm fine. Sorry, guys. My um, mouth got real dry. Um, Yeah. But... Like I said, everything is going fine so far. We might be going home. I'm not for sure yet. They said if I don't go home today, I'll definitely be going home tomorrow morning. So, yeah. Looking forward to going home. Um, don't get me wrong. I love all the help. But I would like to be in my own bed. Because this thing here is not that comfortable. Good morning. I think he's trying to poop. Are you trying to poop, poopy poop? Are you trying to poopy poop? It's the star of the show, guys. Stinky, you're the new star of the Daily Pickin' Show. Yes. Oh, sweet, sweet. Okay, baby. You are just so freaking adorable. I cannot. Look at him, look at him trying to breastfeed you all. Okay, guys, so quick update. So the doctor just came in, and she said she's going to discharge me for the weekend. So we get to go home today. 
so I could finally take a shower. Well, they didn't tell me I could take a shower just yet. I might have to still um, sponge bathe again, but hopefully I can take a full shower and everything because I would like to um, wet my hair so I can do some, you know, <laughs> brush it back, back into a, a puff, but yeah. Hopefully I can get in the shower this time and I just then I won't have to just sponge bathe. But Izzy is going to be happy to hear that we are not staying here another night. So after today we are going home. Yay. Alright y'all, so I am like super confused. So the lady is supposed to be doing his hearing test today, right? But I was told that he had already gotten his hearing test done. So I'm just like, what? But okay, whatever. So she's getting ready to come back in and do his hearing test and everything. And uh, I'm trying, I'm gonna try to get a clip of that or, you know, record it for you guys. Yeah. But I'm still confused because I literally thought they did this days ago. <laughs> That's what I was told at least. So cute, he's so adorable. So tiny. Okay, he passed the left ear, now I'm about to do the right ear. Now exactly what are we looking for with this like well, a blink on the, or something? Mm -mm, the machine picks up on the baby sound waves and ah. the results come up on the screen. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't take long at all. Okay, sorry about you. I almost done. I am right here. <laughs> okay. Okay, he passes. Okay, guys, so my food is here. I am having <clears throat> I'm having apple juice, fruit cup, tomato soup. Some plain way potato chips, chocolate chip cookies, crackers, and chicken breast. I need a signal. I got a story time coming for y'all with this food, but I'll let me eat and then I'm gonna talk, talk to y'all in a minute. <laughs> it's cool um izzy just went to drop off his sister at her house and then he's getting us some subway because that's what i got a taste for i just ordered a meal um the same exact meal i had earlier today with the soup and all of that so i'm gonna eat some of that eat some of the subway i'm getting ready to feed baby boy and um yeah he's right here I have to change him. I have to change baby boy and then I'm getting ready to feed him. Are you smiling, poo poo? He was just smiling, y'all. I got my shirt in here because usually babies, they'll stay sleep long if they can smell your scent. 
so that's why I have this in the crib with him. And usually I would just kind of like bend it all the way back so it's not like over his face or anything like that. Once he fall asleep, I take it out. So don't be coming for me in the comments. That's not safe. I take it out when he falls asleep. All right, now let's get you changed, baby. Yo, stuff almost got real. I was about to have a boo boo hand. Yo, stuff literally almost got real. This man right here, I'm changing him, right? And he wasn't done. I almost had a boo boo hand. We don't say poop around here. I almost had a boo boo hand, y'all. So while he's nursing, let me tell y'all about what happened to me in dietary, all right? So this morning, around 8 o'clock, I called and asked for a tomato soup. No, no, no. I called and asked for bacon, a blueberry muffin, or was it a strawberry? It, it was a muffin, okay? A muffin and an apple juice, right? So I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. And you know how you can sometimes wait so long that you fall asleep? Time just be passing and you fall asleep. So I fall asleep. I wake back up. It's 12 something. I still don't get my tray. So I call up to the um to the dietary. And I'm telling them, like, you know, um, I haven't got my meal yet. So she busts out laughing. And I'm like, how's that funny? How's that funny that I haven't got my meal? That's that's not amusing to me. Like I'm a patient. I called at eight o'clock. Why don't I have my, my my food? You know what I'm saying? That I'm a breastfeeding mom. I have to have food so that my baby can get his nutrients. So I'm not amused. So she busts out laughing. And she's like, Why would you wait three hours? She's like, Why would you wait three hours to call? Um yeah, she's like, why would you wait three hours to call to get your meal? Why didn't you call as soon as you noticed that it wasn't coming? And I'm thinking in my head, I shouldn't have to. You should just be sending it. If you say the meal is going to come in 45 minutes to an hour, it should come. I shouldn't have to remind you that my, my food is not here. That makes no sense. So I'm already aggravated at this point. Because y'all know how I've been feeling for the last few days. I've only been getting water, apple juice, and broth. So y'all know I'm on edge when it comes to that food thing. I'm hungry. I only I just got my first meal, what, yesterday afternoon? So I'm on edge when it comes to the food thing. And um Yeah, so I'm irritated. But I'm not gonna stop. You know, I didn't I didn't say nothing out the way. I just said okay. Like that, whatever. And I was like, you know, I fell asleep. And then she um she was like, Well, what did you order? So I'm telling her, you know, what I ordered or whatever. And she was like, next time, sorry about that, y'all. She was like, well, next time, don't wait until three hours to um to call if your order don't come. Who is you talking to? Like, first off, what is the attitude for? Lose the attitude. So, you know, my nurse come in and, um, oh, what it was. Okay, so at that moment, I had ordered my lunch. I was still on the phone with her. And then that's when she said, you know, next time don't wait until three hours to call. So my nurse come in. She's like, you still ain't got your breakfast yet? And I'm like, no. I'm like, I haven't gotten my, um, I haven't gotten my lunch yet either. So she calls. They hang up on my nurse. So she had to wind up calling a dietary, um, supervisor. That was a hot mess, y'all. I just couldn't believe it. I'm like, she really hung up on you? That was crazy. But yeah, I had to tell y'all about that. Come in. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Hey.